In Kenya, a tragedy is unfolding that is both sad and frightening, as charcoal burners destroy forests to make coals for barbecue cookouts around the world. It's hard to believe, but those glowing coals that fuel our cookouts have terrible implications for animals. People burning and bad farming practices in the Kerio Valley are leading to the desertification of the entire region. Pictures from there show quite a dire situation there with tree cutting and charcoal burning continuing in the area despite the devastating effects. Forests provide food and habitats for countless animals and they are being destroyed at a dizzying rate. Forests once covered 30% of Kenya. The figure is now just 8.3% and dropping fast. There are millions of trees being lost every week to numerous reasons. The firewood, charcoal, building posts, land clearing. Farmers illegally chop down forest trees and burn them for charcoal, leaving behind a destroyed habitat, resulting in hunger and death for every kind of animal, from small buck to elephants. Teddy Kenyon Jui from Nairobi's Tam Feeds has a solution. So much charcoal has been burnt in Kenya that huge piles of charcoal dust have built up. Teddy's company uses that dust and wraps tree seeds in it, making seed balls. So here's a seed of olive trees. One day these will be olive trees. They're wrapped in charcoal. When the rains come, the charcoal's dissolved and hopefully trees grow. The seeds are spread in a number of innovative ways, including from the sky. This is Mark Goss. He heads the wonderful Mara Elephant Project and he doubles as a pilot distributing seeds. Mark takes the seed balls by helicopter to deforested areas and drops thousands of seed balls from the air, mimicking the way the trees naturally spread in Kenya. It's kind of odd to think that from this package, in a few years' time, thousands of trees will be born and thousands upon thousands of animals will have new places to live in the wild. Mark took our team up in a helicopter so we could see the scale of the problem and sow some seed balls. Within the first few minutes of the flight, we lost count of how many rectangular charcoal burning areas there were. Hundreds upon hundreds of them everywhere you looked. And this dreadful picture is repeated all over Kenya. All these black dots, <laughs> that's all charcoal. Look at them everywhere, everywhere. This is a huge area, home to animals great and small, and it was being destroyed in front of us. We've seen to a pound an elephant herd and a huge amount of charcoal burning right next to them. We saw a herd of confused elephants right next to several charcoal burns. We have promised to help. $50 or 41 pounds buys 10,000 seed balls. We spread thousands of even if you get one percent, in a few years' time, there's going to be some very happy animals. There's not the slightest doubt in our minds that we must support Operation Seedball. I'm standing in the remnants of a forest that's been destroyed by illegal charcoal burners. Perhaps behind me, you can see the smoke where they're still working. We can't go near there because they will attack us, perhaps even kill us. They don't understand that by destroying the forest, they're destroying habitat for thousands upon thousands of animals and risking the survival of the entire ecosystem. This is an Acacia abyssinia. It started life as a seed ball four years ago. And these trees are elephants' delight. They love them. Now it's home to a chameleon and goodness knows how many other little creatures. That's an example of why we have to support the Seed Wall Project. Reseeding forest areas is something we can do today. So what we're doing is not only helping forest regrowth, it's helping animals like elephants get an important source of food. Please, if you possibly can, donate generously to Animal Survival International today because we need your help if we're going to save Kenya's animals.